So this is a demonstration of a MHL mobile device connecting to MHL display. Uh, what I'm showing here is the Samsung Galaxy S3 outputting 1080p HD video connected to a Samsung PC monitor that also supports MHL. Uh, before I show uh, the demonstration itself, I want to highlight the fact that Samsung is showing the MHL logo on the display, uh, showing the consumers that it's MHL capable. Uh, one of the key features for MHL is HD video. So what you can see here is the Samsung Galaxy S3 outputting HD video, mirroring the screen onto the PC monitor through a very thin MHL cable. So in addition to 1080p video, uh, MHL also requires the MHL TV or monitor to output power down the cable to charge the mobile device when it's connected. So what I want to show here is that if you see the battery icon, the battery icon shows the mobile device when it's connected to MHL display is always charging or it's 100% charge all the time. Okay. The demonstration I want to show you here is you see the video connected from the phone to the display being mirrored. Um, MHL also provides a functionality called RCP or remote control function that allows the device like a smartphone through MHL to be managed and navigated through a uh, remote control that is shipped with the MHL display. So I'm showing here now is I'm using a Samsung remote control that comes with a PC monitor, but I am able to navigate and launch different applications that is on the smartphone, not on the TV itself. So I'll show you here, I will launch the gallery application on the Galaxy S3. And now I can use the remote control to select, to select and actually launch the uh, video. How come it's not launching? Okay, so through the DTV or monitor remote control, you are able to navigate and launch different application that is on the smartphone itself. And that, a lot, that capability is enabled through the MHL connection. Okay. As of today, uh, we are promoting this new product to top tier mobile manufacturer diligently. Our design win target is around Q1 of 2013.